Hey, HCG family, it's me, Miss HCG Girl, and I'm checking in with another recipe idea for P3 and P4. Um, as you all know, last year I got a high-powered blender as a gift uh, from my uh, husband to me, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I use it for a lot of things, and one of my favorite things that I make is my green smoothie. And um, if you have a high powered blender, you don't have to have this one, but you're going to need one that can grind up um, fruit and vegetables and ice into a smooth mixture. So uh, consider that, or you may be burning up your blender. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you to burn up your blender to do this, but just take my advice on the high powered part. Okay, guys, um, this is what I want you to go get. Uh, this is a high calorie. Uh, this is not a snack. This is a sort of a meal replacement. Uh, I use it. I normally drink this within 30 minutes of coming back from my walk. In fact, in a little while, I'm getting ready to leave for my walk. And I normally do about an hour's worth of Nordic pole walking, which burns somewhere around 380 calories or something like that. So this particular meal is up there. It's probably 450 or 500. I'm going to put it in the bottom, all the stats. But you can, you're welcome to leave anything out. Uh, I would love to have feedback on what I've done, but I'm going to share what I do. First thing I use is I use Chobani yogurt, Greek yogurt. Get some kind of Greek yogurt that's high in protein. And I'm going to put uh, two scoops of this in the bottom. This is a, the fourth of a cup measuring cup and I use a half a cup whenever I'm doing this recipe, okay? So, let me get it out. I should have had everything ready, right? But it's good to see you guys. Um, I'm not disappeared. I'm sort of in P4 right now and I'm adding back in starches and sugars. And I don't really do a lot of white sugars, but natural sugars, like in fruits and yogurts and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, there's the yogurt. The second thing you're going to add in is you're going to add in a cup, one measuring cup of some kind of frozen strawberries or fresh strawberries. I particularly like it frozen because it's icy and it's very cold. And I will tell you, it's cold over here today. And I even drink this on freezing cold days like today. And I sort of look funny after I uh, eat this thing. Uh, I have to put on a coat and a hat because my body temperature is freezing from eating this smoothie on such a cold day. I know I'm crazy. Anyway, get some fresh spinach. You're going to need, uh, I'm using Dole today, but you can get some Organic Girl or something like that. Get at least one cup, okay, of fresh spinach. Uh, and this is how I measure it. I just throw it in there like that. Sometimes I just grab a big handful and push it down in there, okay? Um, I'm going to use a half a stalk. I just have regular celery here, and I've already cut it. One half a stalk, and I'm just going to cut it in half. Throw it in here. I measured out, here's some organic uh, baby carrots. I measured out a one and a half ounces, as you can see, of baby carrots. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, I have some apples here, organic panada apples or something. I took off the stem. You can leave the stem in. It gives a little more woody taste. Uh, I'm going to cut it in half. I leave the seeds on and I throw that in here for my smoothie. Um, I have a lemon that I've already peeled the rind on the outside. The more lemon rind you leave on here, the more tangier it's going to be. So keep that in mind when you're doing a green smoothie. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, you need one scoop of whey protein powder. Go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, you need about two tablespoons, and this is to taste, of French vanilla, either sugar-free flavoring of some kind. I use the Da Vinci. I have used the Terrani. Uh, you can use uh, the Stevia, the French vanilla Stevia. Anyway. Put that in there. Um, we're going to put some almond milk in here. And I always do one cup of almond milk, okay? One cup of, notice this, unsweetened almond milk, okay? It's only 35 calories for a cup.
So uh, keep that in mind. Don't go buy the sugar one and say I told you because this is, uh, makes the calorie count a little different. Uh, I'm going to use one tablespoon of golden milled flax seed. Uh, this is stuff that I mill myself, but you can buy this at any grocery store. You can use the brown one or the golden one. Put one tablespoon in there. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of unsweetened coconut flakes after we mix this, okay? Uh, I like my coconut to be able to taste it while I'm doing it. Six packets of stevia. So we're going to put that in next. <clears throat> and I have about about a half a cup of water, cold purified water, and I'm going to pour some in there. And I have about two and a half cups of ice here that we're going to add after I blend it. Now, we're going to grind this up for about, it takes about 30 seconds in the Vitamixer, maybe 45 seconds at the most. And uh, while I'm doing that, uh, I'm going to, in the magic of editing, you won't have to hear all this. Okay, guys, uh, I have ground up all the mixture that's in here right now, and um, I forgot to tell you, you definitely want a container to put your smoothie in. I actually make, this is 32 ounces, I think, and it makes more than that. It makes over 40 ounces of uh, smoothie. So, at this point right now is when I open the lid and I'll take, do a little taste test, okay, to see. Because sometimes the celery and the, um, the spinach combination will make it very bittery. So it may need a little more terrini or a little more stevia. So test it. Okay, uh, it's one of those days where the vegetables are shining through a little more. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this. I'll put probably a tablespoon more of the French vanilla in here. And I'm going to add a little more water before I put my ice cubes. And this is the point where I add a tablespoon of coconut flakes because everything is pretty much ground in here, okay? I'm going to add a tablespoon of coconut and I'm going to add my ice cubes, okay? And And uh, I'm going to grind some more. And at this point, I grind on like the medium setting until most of the ice cubes are dissolved. And then I get my uh, plunger here and I start moving the ice cubes around so that it becomes, I mean, there is no sign of ice. And I stick it in the freezer for about 45 minutes after that. But right now, I'm going to grind. And in the magic of editing, you will see the finished product. All right, guys. I know this is crazy, but this is what I do every, every day when I finish my smoothie. I do this. And I taste it as it's coming out of the Vitamixer. And it is delicious. Okay? So what I'm going to do is you can see... Cameraman, can you zoom in on this? It is absolutely delicious. Okay, do you see this? It's like, um, it's sort of watery today. It's normally thicker than this. But uh, as you can see, everything is ground up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour some in this container. My Petro's container. And then I'm going to pour some in this one because that's how much is left. Actually, this one filled up two containers today, okay? So, as you can see, this is going to be my lunch today when I get back from my uh, snack. I have this whole full thing in this one. And I will promise you this. It is delicious, okay? And it's packed with nutrients and it will make you feel very full. Now, this is what I do. Almost every day when I leave, I take both of these items and I put them in my freezer and I take them out when I come back from my walk and I sit there and eat it. So uh, hopefully uh, you can try this. I also have another smoothie recipe out there. It's the blueberry smoothie for P3. Honestly, they both are very addictive um, and they both have different nutrients. So try it and let me know what you think. I love you guys. Peace out.